Hey there, it's Claudia. Welcome to or back to For the Love of Four. So I wanted to start off by saying I am sharing this because I am currently so filled and excited with my own testimony that I felt called to share in case someone may need to hear this message. Uh, as I shared previously, I have struggled with my disconnect and inability to have f- fulfilling fellowship and the want to go to church. And it's been about a year or so in that struggle. And I went to visit my brother and he said some heartfelt words that brought me back to understanding my need to just dive in. And I dove back in and I was lucky enough to catch a teaching in my church that are done on these little slips. And it was Mark 831 that they were speaking about and it excited me. So in turn, that made me re-question about, you know, studying the Bible, but I still didn't jump in. And then yesterday, June 11th, I lost my mom uh, to battling four different cancers. And after going through some of the emotions and things, I really stuck true to my testimony and knowing that she's with our father and she is in peace now and out of pain. And I'm okay with that. And the emotions are still there and they're still strong. So I decided that I would jump back into the word. And last night I started looking at YouTube videos and the YouTuber Jack Jack had this video up about how she began. And that made me recall the fact that it's always hard to find how to begin. Everything looks so pretty. Everything looks so creative. It's just not what my stuff was looking like. And I always felt like I just didn't know where to start. And she had a few suggestions and I kind of took her suggestions and ran with them. And based off of the sermon that I had at church two weeks ago and the ideas and suggestions from the YouTuber Jack Jack, I went ahead and searched out a online pastor that was similar to my church's teaching. And what I found was just perfect for me because I don't know where to start. I knew I wanted to be in Mark. And this particular pastor teaches book by book, chapter by chapter, verse by verse. And that's what I personally need to break down each and every verse. And previously, through my dear online friend, Amy Hale, H-A-L-E, she does this highlighting and it's five different colors and I added in a sixth to talk about salvation and and grace and this just stuck with me but you can see I didn't do any writing I was highlighting what I was reading but I wasn't doing any writing and so nothing was really sticking with me unless I had it opened so I jumped into a new bible and yes I do have many bibles I I just love me a new bible And I decided that I would go ahead and just mark it up. If anybody knows me, I do not like writing in my books. Annotation in my books that are not for schooling, it gets to me. But I really needed to look at this as a way of learning. So I did that and I listened to his video. And it is from Calvary Chapel, Ontario. And the playlist is Mark. It will be listed below. And he broke down each verse. And so... I want you to keep with you that this is this may not be what your Bible looks like, and that's okay. I think that's where we get caught up, that we have to look as pretty as Pinterest and Instagram, and it has to be creative and out there for it to be meaningful, and that's just not true. It just so happens that through the highlighting process that I've learned and hearing these things and putting it on post-it notes, it just looks like this, and that's okay, and yours may not. Just hear the words and learn the words and like the youtuber from jack jack said reading the bible is different than studying the bible and i just didn't want to read it anymore i read this bible 90 times over and i really don't know it i want to know it so i just wanted to give you a look at what i've been doing so after my mom passed and i dove in i did mark one and then just a few minutes ago i finished mark two And it's just, it's answering some of the doubts I am currently dealing with. Prayer, um, salvation, baptism, uh, Sabbath, all the things that I have directly kind of struggled with. And I'm just excited. So I wanted to share. And Miss Leslie, I got your letter and I know that we share some of the same disconnects. 
and hardships when it comes to fellowshipping and connecting with a church. And I am so excited to connect with you and reach out to you. I'll be writing back to you soon. And I hope that this is helpful for you to dive into the word and to find your own connection within the gospel. So everybody, please, as always, comment down below. Uh, let me know where you're at in your journey. If you have any questions, um, if you think differently and have a different opinion, I would also love to hear that. And I hope you guys have a blessed one. Take care.